Starting today, we could see crowds at the airport like we've never seen before. The TSA says it could be the busiest Thanksgiving travel week ever. WRS Laura Levine joins us live from RDU this morning. And Laura, you've already been seeing some lines growing there this morning. Hey, Renee, good morning here inside RDU. We can hear the airport suitcases uh, rolling here. And behind me, you can see a little crowd here of people checking their bags at American. But as you mentioned, about 30 minutes ago, we did see a line. If you walk this way uh, here with TSA, that line started here at the bathrooms. But now you can see that we're looking at some improvements here. No long lines for security checkpoint. Uh, speaking with people who are traveling for the holidays, they said that they left two uh, hours early to get here to be, be sure that they don't miss their flight. But as we know, the TSA is expecting a record breaking 18.3 million people to fly through airports beginning today through next Monday, which would be a 6% increase over last year. And RDU is expecting a similar Thanksgiving travel season as last year when more than 400,000 people flew in and out of the triangle. Now, an ongoing shortage of air traffic controllers could be something that we have to monitor when it comes to flight delays at other airports. Weather is also a factor for travelers that they have to watch out for. Now, we did speak with a mother and son who are here at the airport today. They're heading to the Sunshine State, and they're speaking to a little bit about what travel experts are saying at this point on when people are leaving and the trends shifting. Take a listen. We are going to Orlando to see my husband's family for Thanksgiving, um, and we always try to leave the Tuesday before Thanksgiving to avoid the crowd. I've never seen them this long, so I think it's shocking, and I'm very happy we have TSA pre -check. Yeah, TSA pre-check comes in handy, and they were actually sitting there waiting for uh, Dad. He was parking. It took him quite a while to find parking. So I want to show you this. Here on RDU.com, you can see that the economy lot is already 93% full. So, again, a very, very busy holiday season expected with more and more people traveling through RDU. Laura Levine, WREL News, live in Mooresville. Definitely not the holiday to want to procrastinate, right, Laura? Thanks for joining us here in the WRL Live Center. I'm Chris Loving. Good to show you the misery map across America. This is from FlightAware, kind of showing you what delays are looking like across the country. Only 26 that we are seeing as of now. And you know what? Just because I said that, let's go ahead and hit refresh here. Let's see if it changes. Oh, yes, it did. Up to 40 delays. So there's obviously been an update there. And here in North Carolina, it looks like Charles Douglas International Airport at not too bad there. It looks like just one delay. So we're still watching that carefully. One other thing I'm monitoring are the different cameras that we have up. This is at the Pittsburgh International Airport in Pennsylvania. A lot of people going through there. And uh, just real briefly, I'll show you this live shot from this reporter in Miami. You can clearly see behind her. There are quite some people that are there walking through the line. So certainly pretty busy across America here on WREL. We'll be watching very carefully to see how travel is going to be affected across America and potentially your travel.